What is going on, my beautiful people? We got another one today. Another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we've got all the grass cut uh, and almost all of it windrowed. So, oh, I gotta unfold the bale. So, I did rent a windrower. Um, sorry, at least a windrower. It is bigger than ours. Um, I, to be honest, I should have just rented all of the equipment because the the size of this field is astronomically larger than I thought. So the wear and tear, like I went through almost a full tank of gas on the John Deere, just windrow or just cutting and half of the windrowing, um, and then I switched to the Kubota. We have the John Deere, as you may see up in the corner there, doing a contract on 30 or on 11. Uh, he's just fertilizing. We still need to get the bale wrapper because I don't have that either. So at the roughly forty thousand that this contract was going to make us, I'm probably looking at about thirty-two when all is said and done. Um, our money did go up uh, for when I sold the silage last episode. It didn't give us the money. Something was a little, little buggy there. Um, but I've got that fixed. I just went back and. I hadn't saved, so I just did everything up to that point, and in a new, my previous save, and it worked fine, so I don't know what was bugged out in that aspect. Whew, this is a large field, and the one thing that I don't quite understand is why can't you hire a worker to do bales? Why isn't that script in the game yet? It, they can windrow, you can re-windrow a windrow. Like, you can set a worker to windrow the same windrow. So why can't you have a, a worker do bales? Like, I get bale wrapping because there's not a consistent line of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I got a tickle in my throat today. Um, so why why can't you do it? Or why don't they have it set up? I don't know. Talking out loud at this point. So, today's episode... We need to get um, our two soybean fields fertilized. That is an absolute mandatory because they're getting close to being ready. We are in the same day. I have the... Yeah, I don't own the land. I know. I'm not trying to work this land. I'm just turning around with my equipment on. Calm your hormones. Lord have mercy. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to get those fertilized. Uh, they're over there. We need to get those fertilized. And good to go. Um, I did purchase a. I don't know if it's really a low loader. I guess it's kind of a low loader. I purchased a trailer. Basically, just a flatbed trailer. Um,. Because I know we have the auto load, but it only holds 16,000 liters. And I know for a fact that I can stack those eggs significantly higher. So, what I'm going to do is the trailer that I got, I'm going to leave there. Uh, that is already fully auto loaded. And then I'm just going to stack all the eggs because I don't think we're going to be selling the eggs until November. Or around that time when price seems to be peak again. Um, the wool right now is actually at a decent price, so I'm going to unload the low loader, or I'm going to unload the auto loader, and get it all loaded onto the low loader, and then park the low loader over by the eggs. There we go. Sorry. Caffeine deprived today. I apologize. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little time lapse of getting this, some of this field work done. Uh, I don't know if we'll get it all done today. Or at least in this episode, because still got to do all of this. I don't know if I go into the next month if I'll still have this contract. Uh, to be honest, if I don't, I'm not overly concerned about it. Uh, you know, the the money from this would be nice, but it's a lot of wear and tear on the vehicles, and I really did mean to rent the equipment, but I pressed the wrong button. So you know how it goes. Um, I think I'm going to get this row here done, and then I'm going to hop on to the John Deere and see how he's going on 11. 
he should be. Well, he might almost be done it. Yeah, there's a lot of bales here that we're gonna have to wrap. So, okay. shut him off. He's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here because, like I said, I did, I did lease that. Also, I want to try that windrower. It's a nice little windrower. So let's take the John or the, the Kubota home. John Deere is doing his thing, chugging along. Um, also, this fertilizer spreader. From the first time that we filled this, it was like episode two, episode one or two. Um, I have not had to add any fertilizer to it. This is the same fertilizer. This thing uses so little fertilizer. It is literally ridiculous. Like, I do not understand why this doesn't burn through. I don't know if it's just the way that the mod was created or what the case may be. But if you're looking for something that is absolutely phenomenal and it's got decent distance, this right here. The fertilizer uh, spreader. Ground driven 6 ton. Uh, it's in the mod hub for, I rather imagine, almost all platforms. Uh, I know it's on console. So, you know, I, I go get this. This thing is a lifesaver on the cost of fertilizer. If you're actually buying your fertilizer, go get it. It's worth every penny you're going to pay, I promise you. Okay, we're just going to reposition him because he's going to run down. Yeah, he's going to try to back up through this hill. And that's not what we want him to do. Pretty sure there's no trees here, so let's just... What? Okay, you're gonna be like that, easy. Just drive onto the field. And... There we go. So, okay, he's doing his thing. He's doing nothing. I missed that little strip there, that's fine. Well, we're gonna have to clean it up. Let's check on our bees from last episode that we placed. Oh, honey! We got honey. Oh, I didn't want to pick it up. Wrong button. Oh, look at that. All right. So all of the strawberries here, um, we're going to move them out of the way as well. Just gonna push them over here. More should spawn. Here we go. Gonna move these bad boys out of the way as well. Any more? Because I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Oh, there is more. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is it because it didn't give us the full strip. We're just gonna. Oh, maybe. Oh! Flying. Okay. Come on now. Whoop. Oh, that worked. We are going to switch. Oh. Crud. We're going to switch our productions. We are going to make next some lettuce. And then we'll do like a load or so of uh, lettuce, and then we'll go make some, uh, we'll make, grow some tomatoes, I think. Alright, so, uh, those are there. Oh, the low loader trailer is over here. Since this bad boy is here now, what we're going to do really quick. We're going to back this up. We're going to hook on to the auto load. We're going to get that hooked up and brought over uh, to basically where the low loader is over here. I'm going to unload it. Probably right about here. There we go. I know that just drops them all like that, but that's fine. Because what we're going to do is I'm going to low load or I'm going to auto load. 
the lettuce. Er, not the lettuce, sorry. Just running over the strawberries. We're going to load up the strawberries. And we're going to take those and get them sold off. I don't think there's 16,000 liters here, so all of this should get taken. Here we go. And... Okay, still taking it. All right. Perfect. Oh, we missed one. It's a hiding over here. Hey ya! What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Take it. Take it. Loaded her up. And good. All right. Oh. Didn't think I was going to be able to make that turn. So now, best place to sell strawberries is... Any more fertilizing contracts? No. Okay. Strawberries can sell at... Everywhere. Uh, bakery, farmer's market, yogurt place, or, uh, grocery mart. I don't know why I said yogurt place. Uh, farmer's market. Looks to be the farmer's market. Oh, the grocery mart is the most, or the best place. So, where are we going for that? Got to be over here in town, because that is where... Oh, it's right there. Okay, we're going to... Send this bad boy right there. Why isn't the John Deere working? You are not done your contract. Come on now. Got to get your stuff done. Here we go. Really? You can't drive. See, AI workers, man. AI workers. Grocery Mart's over here. Okay, he's doing his thing. We'll get back into the John Deere, get this guy turned on. had to pull a John Deere out for the bailing because <clears throat> these hills here, the other tractors just won't be able to uh, accommodate this this incline. So yeah, see this, this is like jobs like this when I'm doing bailing on the hills and stuff or I'm using the forage wagon. It's the only time I like to pull a John Deere out just because like the struggle to get this done without it would be horrendously horrible. Alright, so we're going to get some more of this bailed. Contract on 11's at 82%. We're just going to let him go. We're going to let him go do his thing. Sorry, I was grabbing a sip of coffee. Uh, there's something peaceful about bailing. I've never actually looked at the inside of this tractor. This is a nice little tractor on the inside. Oh, 
Oh, the time in the tractor matches the time in game. That's cool. That's that's neat. Oh, I'm veering off. I missed the whole strip. Oh, just a little bit there. Okay. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Line her up. Line her up. And good. All right. Oh, boy. Yes, there's going to be many bales for this. Many bales. Don't know why I'm veering off so bad there. Probably just missed a bunch. Eh, a little bit, yeah. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So. Gonna roll up on over here. Oh. We'll get this trip done. And then we'll check on the Kubota. By the time we're done this trip, the... John Deere over there doing 11 should be done also we need to put in a garage or a repair trigger of some sort probably a garage um, because I don't actually think I have a tractor with narrows on and I don't want to damage my crop the soybean crop because we really want that crop to be ready um, so we're gonna go yeah, we're going to go down to the end, and then we're going to place a garage someplace on the farm. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it, but we need something. I'm thinking maybe, maybe if I remove the gas can, or the, the gas container, and or the diesel tank, we can move it someplace else, and then... Put a garage there, maybe? It's my thinking. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, but we can try it. Whew. Yeah, I love bailing, but it, it's definitely a long job. It's nothing over. Oh, I'm veering off. Come back. Yep, there we go. Alright. Contract on 11 is completed. I feel like the Kubota tractor got stuck someplace along the lines. I'm missing more. Alright. I don't know why with this tractor I cannot keep it straight for the life of me. This is a lot of bales. And I still gotta wrap them all. Oh. get to the end here just shut this bad boy off oh the Kubota's here alright where's my cell trigger in there and I'm assuming there's nobody behind us Okay, I'm assuming it's not in here. Oop, crud. Oh, Jesus. My bad. I'm just take out the traffic cones. They'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Alright, grocery mart. Where is it? Where is the cell trigger? That's a big grocery mart. Oh, it's back there. Okay, how do I get in? Oh, in here? I'm assuming this is how we get in here? Oop. I didn't run into people. Oh, this is a nice big trigger. I like this one. It's actually cool that you gotta come into the parking lot. And then back into the bays. That's actually pretty realistic. I like that. Problem is, if I have to come in here with the rig, oh, it's gonna suck. 
So we'll get that sold off. So 8,700. It's not bad. We'll just go around this side here. And out. What is this thing? Is it on the map? It's not on the map, but there's a trigger here. Is this gas? What is this? Let's find out. I don't know what that is. That's different. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back out and investigate that. So, Kubota can go home. John Deere is done, so we'll come back into the contracts. We shall accept this one. Collect. Still got this one going. The John Deere we will also send home. He's doing that. All right, let's here. Okay, so we need a garage that allows us uh, tools. Do we have? Oh, that's big. Be cool to have our own gas station though. So that's the one we have over there. But this one actually has the triggers, hopefully. Maybe, probably not. So there's this one for 40 grand. I actually like this. You know what? Can we? I think we could. I think we could get that in there. It didn't overlap that tree that's there. Hmm. We could also. Put it like right here. Problem is getting in and out of there is going to be tricky. Could always move that. That could go someplace else. To be honest, that, the fermenting silo, since this is our grass field... We could probably put it like right here. You know what I mean? Like right on this strip to have the thing come out to the road here. This would make a lot more sense for positioning because it's closer to the field that we use for grass. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to do that. Yes, yeah, so we're going to sell that. That works. We're going to put this here. Okay, little little landscaping to do there, just to smooth that out. Soften. All right, that works. Yeah, to be honest, we have the container here, so this could be like our work area for things we need. Uh, seems a little bumpy there. And then if we come back over to uh, productions. No. Buildings. Containers. I believe is what it's under. No? Maybe I was wrong. Uh, silo extensions? I never remember, to be honest. No. It's not in silos, is it? It is a fermenting silo, so it is, too. All right. Yeah. Should be in here. Those are regular silos. What is this? Oh. I have so many mods installed, it's, like, impossible. Absolutely impossible to keep them all. Oh, it's not in here. Uh, tools? I do this every time. I always have a hard time finding the... Certainly wouldn't be in sheds. Productions. I 
factories. Oh, what is... Yeah, there we go. Found it. Yeah, we can put it, like, right here. Problem is it's gonna... Do a lot of landscaping. Alright, hold on a second. We are going to... Turn on the help menu for a second, which is probably the best bet for when we're... Productions, factories, fermenting silo. Can I lower this? Does not seem to be. Okay, let's get it as close to there as possible. So that's very, very high. Uh, is there is it wide enough to no that's going to take up the field this is going to just landscape the crud out of what we're uh, I'm doing it anyways actually you know what save game I'm learning valuable life lessons as I play farming simulator always save before you do anything dramatic All right, here we go. Round three. And place. Oh, actually, oh. You know what? That's not that bad. That could we can we can buff that out. Yeah, that's not so bad. All right. Uh, we're going to go into landscaping quick. We're going to level. There's a reason for this. Smooth. There we go. And smooth. Okay, now if I grab, I guess the rig, the rig will work. This should be okay. It shouldn't be that dramatic. Little bump there. What about this side? Little bump there, that's not too bad. Alright, now the real question is. What if we send it? Are we going to get air? No! Alright! Job well done! At least it works for me. We still got to get rid of all of this wood and get this loaded in. Um, but the low loader that I bought, which I'll actually just back up and I'll show you guys because it's a really cool little trailer. Oh! He picked up the eggs as he was driving by. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah, he picked up eggs as he was driving by. He picked up like almost 8,000 liters of eggs. That's hysterical. I didn't even, I forgot they were there. Oh boy. Well, um, this trailer also has a log uh, configuration. So we can just take it to the garage that we now have. Reconfigure it be able to put those in it and then just take those to the sawmill uh, so let's just take this there we go over to the garage whoop I'm gonna run over the eggs See how the landscaping is over here. Yeah, it needs some work. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. Especially over here. That's not bad. I don't mind the little bump, the little rise in it, but this is like... I don't know what's going on over here. I think that's just the ground itself, but I'll get that all cleaned up. 
Uh, but that contract, I think I'm going to get done off camera. Just park you there. And repair. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, it works. That's what matters. But I think this is where we're going to end it. So I hope you all have enjoyed. No, once again, it's been a little sporadic of what's been going on. We're a lot of back and forth and doing this and doing that. But, you know, sometimes on the farm, you got to get a lot of stuff done. So, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Not obligated to. More than welcome to leave a comment. I've been Farmer Rari. I hope you all take care. I'll catch you in the next one.